Love Muffins, it's your girl Keisha and I'm back with the new All to Y'all Shade. We are reviewing Love and Hip Hop Hollywood tonight. We're on episode 4 this week. I give this week's episode uh, a B plus. It was good. It, it kept my attention. It was drama filled as usual. Um, it's kind of a little bit getting repetitive with Hazel E's storyline because that bitch is just a goddamn dummy, but we'll get to her in a minute. But first, I want to give you some behind-the-scenes tea. Um, earlier, no, late last week, um, it came out that Morgan um, has quit as Ray J's personal assistant. She said the reason that she quit is because Ray J got physical with her, physically abusive, that is. Um, while he was drunk in front of her son and she said that he needs to get his drinking under control and that's why she don't fuck with him no more so as of right now Morgan and Ray J are on the outs um so that's some behind the scenes tea that I'm sure you'll be hearing more of soon but let's get to my uh favorite moments from tonight's episode one of my first uh, favorite moments was Nikki Baby and her mama going out to dinner and discussing Mally Mail and that whole fiasco relationship. And all I could concentrate on was the fact that Nikki Baby's mama looked a hot plastic ass mess. That old woman reminded me of the characters from Death Becomes Her with Meryl Streep. <laughs> If you've ever seen it, you young folks probably have never, but if you've never, please watch Death Becomes Her because that bitch looks just like the characters in that movie. She looked like an old crypt keeper. She looked like an old ghetto around the way version of Morticia Adams. That lady just looked a hot ass motherfucking mess. Her and her daughter look like two mechanical dummies. They just are a mess. Like, mm, um... What the other moments was um, Young Bird looking like a third grader, a feminine ass third grader at that over Hazel E's apartment and talking about what you gonna do, you gonna turn up for me, what you got to do when she gets to stripping off her clothes and shit. And I'm just like, bitch, you gonna go to jail fucking around with this little bitty ass little dude. He, I could never fuck him because he looks like a child to me. Like, there's nothing sexy or, like, he can get it about Young Herb. I can't even say his name. Young Bird, Young Herb. I don't know. He looks like a little kid. He look Hazel E. fucking him looks like a preacher fucking an altar boy. That's what the fuck that shit looks like. This shit just ain't right. And then... This bitch all up on this little bitty boy's nutsack and she's like 375 years old and living in a studio apartment bitch with a futon and her bed in the same goddamn room and crying about this nigga not wanting to be in a relationship with her. Bitch, you need to get your priorities together, ma'am, and save up to get you a real apartment. You are a thousand years old. You was born when Jesus was was walking the earth, bitch. I need for you to get your life together, Hazel E, because you are a trifling, big nose, Billy Goat looking bitch. Um, then she's sitting up here talking about, you don't want me. Do you not know how a bad of a bitch I am? Bitch, you are a bad bitch. You are a BMW or a body made the fuck wrong, bitch. You look a hot ass mess there's nothing bad about you and then for you hoes out here to think y'all somewhat cute because y'all got a nice body and some weave and a beat face bitch that don't make you a bad bitch being a bad bitch is having your life in order bitch having your bills paid having a nice place to live not going from household to household and dick to dick you dumb bitch um then, um, we see Amanda and Luffy is on the gondola and shit, and they're having a little cute day, and I was jealous, and I was pissed, because I'm not here for that shit. Um, and we learned that, um, Luffy is wants her to move in with him and his son and be a family, and she's very hesitant. Let me tell you something now, Fizz. This bitch ain't trying to play stepmama to your baby. She is not trying to be tied down and play Susie Homemaker with your ass. The dick is good. She like you, but she ain't all in like that. You can tell by the look on her face. That bitch ain't fucking with you like that. Then, we found out this bitch cheated on you. Child, I feel so sorry for people like Fizz, niggas like Fizz, because niggas like Fizz are good-hearted, good men, 
and they just get with the worst bitches ever. Look at this baby mama now, this trifling bitch. Both of them two trifling bitches. Fizz, I said hi to you last week. Call me. Um, then we go to Morgan, Tierra, and Masika. And they're all talking about Nikki, baby. And Morgan fake ass say, I got pictures of her from how she look, used to look. And brings up Nikki, baby's old photos. And they have old photos of her also on media takeout. She wasn't an ugly girl. Why she did all that shit to her face, I don't know why. Um, But I think that Morgan is just fake. And that's what fake hoes do. They be all in your face talking about you. They your friend. And they want to sit up here and talk about you behind their back. That bitch... Look like a deep freezer. And <laughs> Morgan was laughing at the fact that her friend looked like a goddamn Amtrak truck. Like, bitch, I don't know why that girl did all that shit to her face. It's really her face because her body is sick. Whoever altered that bitch's body. Because if you go on her Instagram page, on um, Nikki Baby's Instagram page, her breasts are sitting. She got her stomach carved so she can have the perfect cinch to waist, a small waist. Then she got the hips carved perfectly. She got the great ass implants. The bitch's body is sick. The money that she put into her body, two thumbs up, money well spent. If I had the money, bitch, I would do the same shit too. But where she fucked up is, is that I pad many of a face of hers. Her shit look like a tablet, my nigga. Her shit look like a PC, like a laptop. It's just wide as fuck and nothing moves but her mouth. And it's just very strange. She, her face look like the new iPhone 6. Like, I just don't know. Or the Xbox One, the new one just came out. I just don't know about her face. Like, it's just, I don't know. Um... And I've come to realize, like I just said, that Morgan is a shit starter. If you pay attention, Morgan has been in the middle of every beat on the show, except for Armarion's and Little Fizz. She is in the, in the middle of Ray J and Tierra Marie. She was a uh, part of that beef. She's been a part of Nia and Soldier Boy's beef. She took Nia to this radio show where she finds out about Soldier Boy and um, Korean Stephens. She's been in the middle of Masika and Nikki, Nikki Baby's beef. Morgan is a motherfucking shit starter, so I don't feel sorry for your ass. I liked your ass at first. But bitch, you need to mind your motherfucking business. Go take care of your goddamn son, bitch. And stop worrying about these other hoes and they trifling ass business. I liked you first episode. Now I don't like you no more. Um. Then Hazel Lee gonna get mad because Young Bird brought another bitch to the ass cap wars. Why do you fucking care about the ass cap wars? Ass cap wars for you, for those of you who don't know is the awards for people that write songs and they get accolades for the songs and shit that they've written. I don't want to go to no goddamn ass cap boys. It ain't like this bitch is going to the Grammys, goddamn it. Sazel, sit your ass down. You can't get mad at this nigga if not want to take your big bird, burning earth looking ass, no goddamn word, your fraggle rock looking ass. Like, bitch, you Doc McStuffin' looking motherfucker. Like, don't nobody want to take you nowhere. You are ugly. I need for you to understand that you are ugly. There is nothing attractive about your ass, bitch. Huh, and... She sees him with his date and she's like, I thought you just said you didn't want to take nobody with you. And she gets mad and throws a drink at him. How are you mad, ma'am? This nigga has told you on every episode thus far. He is a nigga. I don't want to be in a relationship. I want to fuck. I want to suck. And I want to keep it moving. I want to see other hoes. What about that? Don't you understand, bitch? And you steady trying to hear what the fuck you want to hear. This nigga's keeping 100 with you. You can't even get mad at a nigga like Bird. Even though he's one years old and he just got his baby teeth out this nigga is being honest with you so any drama or turmoil or sadness that this bitch is feeling is brought upon herself she's a fucking idiot um what's next let me turn my page cause that bitch pisses me off Whew. then we go to Omarion trifling frail anorexic bulimic looking mama coming to the damn baby shower one and everything because her ass is sad and fucking miserable and want to make everybody around her sad and fucking miserable and starting shit with April and her baby shower. April is the better bitch to me because I would have whooped her ass in my pretty see-through dress and my curls and my head. I would have slapped the shit out that old bitch because she is a pathetic ass excuse for a mama or Marion, you need to check your motherfucking mama because your mama is ruining your motherfucking relationship. No way in hell should your mama have that much say so in your life and get away with that slick ass mom. It's your place to check your mama and I notice he jumps bad with April and tell her to be quiet but he don't never tell his motherfucking mama to shut the fuck up. You need to handle that shit because that damn woman is a bitter, betty ass mess. Um... 
And then last but not least at the end was Nikki Baby and Masika getting into it. And Masika is rough looking. I'm sorry, when I got a close up look at her ass, she's cute. But she needs a new foundation routine. Her foundation just looked dry. She had them wrinkles, some eyelash like that was about to fall off. That wig was sitting back here. And then she had that leave out that was just like this. And her lips are big and they funny looking. Her lips like go like that at the bottom and they just hang over to the side like Bobby Brown. I don't understand her. Um... And uh, uh, what's her name? Nikki Baby. All she cared about is saying that Mally is her man. Everybody was sitting up there like, this nigga gave me A's. I don't, I don't give a fuck, but he's my man. He likes to fuck me in the ass with two dildos and a hamster. I don't give a fuck. He is my man. What about you? Don't understand. I miss Nikki Baby. He got herpes. I don't give a fuck. He's my man. He's gay, bitch. I don't give a fuck. He's my man. He sucked several dicks last night. And fucked a gerbil and an elephant at the same damn time. I don't give a fuck. He's my man. I miss Nikki, baby. What about that? Don't you understand? This bitch don't give a fuck. As long as she can say this nigga's her man, that's all she gives a fuck about. So kudos to you, Nikki, baby. Let You can have that nigga. Ain't nothing trite cute about him. He is ugly. Oh, oh, y'all ugly. I don't understand. Oh, my God. Y'all ain't gonna put me back in the hospital. I'm not gonna do this shit with y'all. Mona Scott. Kudos to you, bitch. You got me in a tizzy. Another great show. I'm going to see y'all next week. I got two makeup tutorials dropping this week. One Wednesday, one Friday. Wednesday, I'm doing the blue smoky eye. Friday, I'm doing a Halloween makeup look. So stay tuned for that later on this week. I love y'all. Have a good night. Blessings. Bye.